Yeah. There was this dude there. He like did like a flip thing and it's like. Whoosh, 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 whoosh. Hey, 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 hey. Shot, so you go ahead. We could uh, pour me up a shot of water. You man, so some drink. But. <laughs> any any reason? Any reason in particular? Like uh, to stay in focus or religious reasons? Okay, okay. okay. Yeah, yeah. Man of God, you're dope. Okay. <laughs> you're okay, so I respect that. So for those of you watching, this is Zach Kindle. The boy's a beast. <laughs> you're a beast, bro. Uh, it was, you're sing, a beast. sing something for him. <laughs> Yeah, maybe uh, maybe, <laughs> maybe, <laughs> maybe a little intro. You know what brings him? What brings him to us? And then and uh, a little bit about what you do. Let me say. Yeah, you know him better than me. Okay, what up? Yeah. My name's Zach. Uh, man, Dan, when did you when did we when did we come in contact? I feel like I, a year or two. Like, I think I hit you up. I think I might have hit you up and be like, bro, I freaking love your TikTok. Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. And um, so that's how you guys met. Yeah. yeah. Okay. 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 I, I slid up. I slid in his DMs. You know. I was like, what's, <laughs> up, what's up, baby? I was like, <laughs> How's it going? Um, and um, and then uh, literally he hit me up not too long ago because I was literally said on my Instagram story going back to CT. Yep. Uh, da, da, da. He's like, I didn't know you're from CT. And uh, but yeah, but uh, I make music. I I just love making content, and I love talking about God, and I love ta- making people happy. And that's and that's just pretty much me, man. And that's what I'm trying to bring out to the world. That's awesome. So man. you you live out in LA now? You said right? Yep, downtown, baby. <laughs> <laughs> how long you been out there? Uh, I moved out there. It's been about a year now. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. It's been right here, so I'm kind of a baby out there, but. No, it's fun. It's, it's gonna fun. fly by. Time's gonna go crazy. <laughs> and you said you were living in a content house. Yeah, living in a content house. Uh, when I first moved out there, and I like the first time I moved out there, me and my boy G, we uh, he lives in Rhode Island, so I drove to his house. We packed up all their stuff, and then we drove all the way to LA. And just oh, sure. <laughs> threw it, just like we just went there, and um. We went just to, taking a chance, just saying, "Fuck it, it's got to, it's so actually, it's gonna work or so, not work." So How'd part, you meet? End up going out there. So yeah, this is a great story. So the first time, <laughs> this is so funny. The first time I started uh, a, a group, I didn't start it individually, but it was a group of us. It was my boy Micah, Rob, and G. Uh, G's got it. Uh, went down there with, but we started like a a content group called East Boys. Mm. It was like kind of just kind of trying to start. Uh, just kind of thing for us. And so we went off on a whim to uh, this place, um, this place, this content house first because Rob knew the owner of the content house. It's called Drip Crib. And that's where everything kind of started. Drip Crib was gross. I don't care if y'all see this. Y'all gross. It was nasty. It was yeah. disgusting. Rats on the floor, everything. Um, oh, shit. But oh, shit. It, it was a mansion. It was a mansion. So a frat house. It was like, it, it was it, great. It was pretty much like a frat house. And, yeah, but yeah, it yeah. was a mansion, but it was run by kids mm, okay. right it was literally two it was two houses down from logan, Paul, logan paul's house right, okay. and um if i if i show you all pictures of the house <laughs> like you'd be like holy crap what did i do to that beautiful place uh but i went there and um we just linked up with a bunch of content creators because everyone's party because this is the place to go party right and like me i don't party nothing so i'm just like sitting there like they're all like <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm like, holy frick, where am I at, man? And then right. it's like, but it was so good because like there were so many heads coming in and out and so many connections I made. So then these two dudes that lived at this content house that I ended up staying at uh, came to the party and we just kicked it with them. His name, uh, the name was Colty. Shout out to Colty, shout out to Champagne Mike. Uh, they just super dope dudes. And uh, they brought us to their crib and uh, we met the manager of the house and we just Kicked it and it was like it was oh. cool and uh, we just, ever since then they they invited us to go back and help them make content and make content with them and uh, we did that we moved out there kind of like on a whim and we thought it was gonna be a short term thing we ended up right. staying there for a long time so that's that to awesome. be like a shock for you right because you go into L A and like I said you don't you know you don't drink you don't really you know you drink water and uh, <laughs> you know you don't really party like that so where out there is like twenty four seven on the go that's and how it's like network. You know, yeah, right. That's how people grow. Did you find it difficult to like maneuver nah, around being like, like, no, I don't drink or no, nah, nah, I'm like, when people, like, when I'm out of parties, like, yeah. 
They think I'm drunk because I'm stupid. You know? <laughs> <laughs> so like, shit, imagine if I was drunk. I'd be fucking up this whole place. I'd, I'd be yeah. tearing it down, yeah, man. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, no, it was, it was not hard. It was just like, it's like, it's overwhelming sometimes because that's all they do. Yeah. You know or well, the pressure. Yeah, yeah. Screw the pressure. I don't care about that. I don't care. Right, right, right. I don't care what nobody thinks. But it's like, right. but uh, it's dude. It was it's overwhelming because a lot of people's priorities in L.A. Right. are not where they need to be. You know? Gotcha. And that's why it's overwhelming. That's why I'm like sitting back, like, mm, like what the heck are y'all doing? Are you working now? Like, so now is it currently like any projects or anything? Like in particular, you're. You said you're going on, on tour, right? Yes, yeah, so I want to do a tour this summer. Doing shows this summer. Um, that's the goal, and then. I'm um, just dropping a bunch of songs. I'm um, dropping a song later this year with Sean Kingston in the summer. Oh, hey, nice. Yes. Uh, he's, he's dope. And then uh, that's with my buddy, Matt Crowder. He's he's fire. And uh, we're just looking to get some good good movement from there. Get some I think you're going to take off. I, I heard yeah, some you of your stuff will. and see some of your content on TikTok. It, it looks really good. I was like, oh, shit. He's from <laughs> Connecticut? <right>, pull up. <laughs> my boy. Bro, we were, we, were, we were talking about that, like, on the past couple episodes. We were like, how much, like, talent is here in CT. But oh, my the gosh. Pro- yeah. The problem is, is that, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people that end up being like, we can't do it here. We got to go out yeah. to be able to be, get the exposure, network, and you know meet what? the people that you need to meet. You know, the same thing with that, I, which I totally agree with, is, like, people in CT hate mm. on each other. Yeah, yeah, we even yeah, talking we, about we that. Talked oh, about literally that. Yeah, what we yeah, said, yeah. yeah. They don't they're fuck like, with they don't want to give you your flowers. Like. I think that's hometown shit. I think whatever hometown you're from, I think that's really... How, I don't even know if it's a CT thing. Because we know like people thing. see I don't us know, I feel like and in they LA, hate they're on us all... in the background and then when they see us in person, they're like, yo, it's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd, be like that. It'd be like that. Yeah. A lot. Well, it goes back to the one thing is jealousy or just... Yeah, that's all it is. And people people want to be able to, you know step outside their bubble but right. a lot of times it just takes courage and a lot of times they don't take that step but or yeah, that like, fear of leaving home but, too people yeah. have that fear like, like oh you, shit if, yeah, I, if I don't make it to, if I don't to leave Connecticut and go somewhere nobody, a lot of people don't do that was scary. Right. I'm not gonna lie it was scary for me I'm but it's like, almost like leaving your hometown you leave your hometown if shit doesn't work out you know it's like you have in the back of my heart I can always go back but then when you're doing something like entertainment or doing something that you yeah. really want to break like you said, you're you like fuck to, I can't go back you have to I worry can't, about you know I gotta prove these people wrong what people think about you and it's tough to get over like right. even at first like I start putting on content and I'm like mm. alright I look ridiculous <laughs> right. and then I'm like because even when, even when you say, like, I don't give a fuck what people think, you're in the back of your mind, like, damn. Like, There's always, are, like, going to be a part of you. Yeah, yeah you're right. No, you're Subconsciously, right. Subconsciously, yeah. You're gonna... I, I tell myself that. I don't care. So, right. Because I have to remind myself. I'm like, don't worry. Just don't worry. Even though it's there, don't worry because it's all going to work out the way it needs to. Yeah. Like, that's a reminder I have to tell myself because growing up, I care too much about what about people thought. Like, oh, how's my hair look? <laughs> right. Yeah. Wearing, right. Wearing, wearing, wearing right. right clothes, whatever. Uh, but now at this point, it's like, if I find fulfillment with what I'm doing for myself and with God and my family, then everything else doesn't matter. That's, exactly. Yeah. No, that's the way to do it. Yeah. So like, I've just been trying to focus on uh, building up myself so I can be the best version to give to other people, you know? Right. So, absolutely. Yeah. I think that it goes hand in hand with the content too. So it's like, I had to come back from LA too, uh, for, we talked about it before, but for my 80th, from my grandpa's 80th birthday. And also just cause it's overwhelming in LA. Yeah. It's like, I had like decompress and realize like I need to take a step back and get my priorities in check because yeah. you can get lost really quick. hundred yeah, percent. I know. I know pe- some people personally that ended up like they moved to like you know, they moved out to Florida or moved out to just to get away from it. You know, oh, because he said it could consume you. You can. know what I mean? Yeah. But it seems like you're very focused and it seems like you're driven. So like even the alcohol thing and st- you know that's a big thing. So people that could easily fall into that trap, they just get stuck out there and stuck yeah. in that scene where because, you know because they think. That that lifestyle will fulfill them, right? You know, partying, you know, hooking up, everything. It just that's that's so temporary. It's so temporary. Yeah, it's gonna set them back. Yeah, especially it's when a, you're like, it's a lot of waste of time too. When forty yeah. hits you and you're just like, fuck, what did I do? <laughs> like, where's this yeah, go? yeah. yeah like, the and time flies way fast. And you're Will Ferrell, fast. and you're in, in old oh. school. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. He, was, he was killing it in there. <laughs> that was Frank the Tank you're talking about. <laughs> now that was a smart move of you moving out. No, oh, yeah, it's def- definitely like. What are some What are some like hurdles that you're coming across, or that you've come across, you know, on this journey? Hurdles that maybe stopped you from getting to a level that you need to be, or you know, that you're ch- trying to strive for. So, like, that's a good question. I am trying to make sure my brand and who I am is represents oh, what? what I want to show to the people because right. I'm really. 
intentional and deliberate with my choices and things I say and what I do. And uh, like, I've had a lot of opportunities where, right. for example, I could have hopped on a Trippy Red song, right? And turned it down. Because, oh, really? Yeah, because I'm not gonna. Even it wasn't. It, it wasn't. It was it, off brand. It exactly. Wasn't. It didn't, does not align with me. So, like, right. I'm one of my uh, obstacles I'm facing is being patient with the right opportunities and then taking, you know, like, going head on with those opportunities because I'm not gonna hop on a Trippy Red song or. Um, it was my buddy who was offering it to me because my buddy's the freaking goat. Right. Uh, and same guy. His name's Matt. Um, shout out to Matt. Love you, dog. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> but um, I'm not going to take opportunities that when you know would give me exposure, would give me benefits, but would ruin my brand because at the end of the day, if I'm not promoting what I'm like putting out, my sounded like what Ozzy said last week. Like, we had we had. Uh, um, our Money guy Talks Ozzy Wireless. from Lenny Talks Wireless last week mm. and he was saying the same thing he said you know I'm at a point where all these brands or all these people are reaching out to me but I'm not going to go with it just for the check or just because it's going to yeah. compromise it's going to compromise my brand Yeah. so I, I'd rather stay you know yeah, that's good. true that's, to myself that's amazing so. for him that's like that's huge so it sounds like you're, you're like kind of the same you know got the same thought process that you're like I'm not going to mess up my you know it, yeah, my dude. path yeah I, I appreciate that and it's like and like my purpose is not even to like I don't want to be to be like self fulfilling it's like there is a much bigger purpose than just like rather than putting out a music to get millions of streams you know i'm trying to do something much bigger than that to uh, bring people a lot more joy than and organic which is a good which is you know a good thing too you want shit to be organic because you could have gotten like i said the trippy red thing would have gave you the quick blow up but yeah. then it's like you want people to really follow your journey really really yeah you know and the people so. like if people associate like think about it who yeah. do you associate with trippy red like, like, or what? Yeah. What's, the, what's the first thing you think when you think Trippy Red? Yeah, what, what I you, think of like you think about partying, weed, drugs, drugs yeah, Zans. Yeah, yeah. yeah. exactly. Yeah. So you I'm, don't want I'm, the, Yeah, I'm sober, Sally over here. Like yeah. I've yeah. never drank, never smoked. Your boy's still a virgin. Yeah. So it's like, hey, yo, <laughs> so yeah, I, don't, yeah. I can't, oh, shit. I respect that. I can't even like. I don't want to be associated with that. Even though Trippy, I bet he's a great guy. I bet he's like, like super sweet individual, right. great guy. But it's like, I just can't have that brand associated with my brand you know no that's smart i feel you that's how you big a huge brand Mm. when you stick to something like that yeah because i I just want to i want to leave a legacy that's bigger than it's like not me you know it's bigger than me right so it's like if i'm going to taint it right now with doing something that's out of brand out of pocket it's like what the heck am i doing man yeah it's not it doesn't fit your beliefs so exactly exactly and uh like I said, we're just doing it organically too. Yeah, we're actually bringing on people that we genuinely, you know, respect and have, you know, mess with to be coming to come on here and sit down with us. Like yeah, we're not, just, we don't yeah. want to just pull anybody on here to, you know, get views or get that. We want to make sure it's like quality content and it's, people that's, that we that's so good, genuinely bro. respect. That's you know? so good. But we we'll definitely appreciate you coming here. Well, I, pre- I was about yeah. to say saying I appreciate you guys even letting me on because one, it's like hard to find other good creatives in Connecticut, you know? Right. You know, there's a lot of um, uh, <laughs> silliness going on. Let's right, leave, leave right. that. Right. Um, and uh, you guys are very, it's, your content is super good. It's clean. It's super consumable and it's good. And like, it's it's fun. Appreciate and, it, and man. I'm just, I'm a pre, I can pre, freaking appreciate being here. So thank you guys. <laughs> Thanks, thank man. you. Thanks for coming. Man. I know, honestly, because he didn't really know much about you. So he was like, your boy's good. Like, he's not <laughs> just some like bozo or anything. I'm like, no, nah, no, bro. He's, because I, I wanted he said, no, to bring he's up. official. He's official. Yeah. I wanted to bring up. valid. <laughs> which if it, which if, it, if it comes from him, then I know already. I know it's he's, you know, you're good. I wanted to bring up like the, the recent TikToks he made. And I'm, we're going to play these like right now. Here it goes. Yo, let's go. Your song? Yeah. Hey, 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 hey
<laughs> and he's like, yeah, what do you, he's like, let's go through the drive through and just like, be like, you know, stupid and like play the music. He's like, nah, let's go inside and bring the speaker and just like make some noise. And I was like, I can't do that. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do that. So I walked in the McDonald's and I went up to the manager. I'm like, oh, can we make a, uh, a TikTok with y'all? And he's like, okay, for sure. <laughs> he was the coolest dude ever. And, um, He's like, I ran him through what was going to go on, and he just like killed it. And oh, he like, did kill it. Yeah, yeah he, he started dancing. He's like, he's like dope. freaking <laughs> in. <That's laughs> like, the clip. <laughs> and then so like it was so good because I posted it on my main account my first time. So I posted the video four times actually because right. I knew it was good content. First time literally got like four thousand views. That's it. Second time I posted it. Um, it got like 300,000 views. I was like, frick, yeah. Right, right, right. <laughs> Third time I posted, I posted on my backup account, and that one got 1.2 million views. Oh, hell yeah. And then it got like reposted all these other places, and now it's resurfacing on a lot of um, like um, uh, Instagram pages like Hoodville and stuff like that. Right. Um, it's just resurfacing, resurfacing again, and it's good. Cause it was lit. It was um, good. Yeah, it was, yeah. It was lit. Uh, but uh, and it was just so fun. So then we decided to go to other people. I mean, other places and like make it a series. I went to KFC, went to Taco Bell, went to back to McDonald's. The second time I we went to McDonald's, right. there was this dude there. He like did like a flip thing and it was like, oh man, oh he was bone breaking. Yeah, he, he, he was a worker. Well, pull the video. I'll show you. Yeah. Boom. Now our song is your song. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh it was, yeah he, he was the man but um it was, that was the series i'm going to bring that series back uh when i just have more ab i'm gonna do it when i drop this uh sean kingston song just to have a um it's more upbeat vibes because i've been dropping some kind of slow songs now do you, that? do you do you plan a lot of your stuff there's like a lot like like that video like mcdonald's but there's a lot of stuff just spontaneous shit like all, stuff that's like, just on the spot you know what's like, crazy like like yo this is a good idea let's do this all right my now. videos that do well yeah are spontaneous and right. all the videos that I plan, just natural, right? Yeah. yeah, all the videos I plan, flop, flop, right. flop, bro. I'm not joking. That's how like, it works. Hundred views, like what happened? That's like the time we went to that. We went to that party. We went to that party, and the girl was on a keg. She was holding her on the shoulders. Oh yeah, bro. We were at a party one that time. That was mad long ago. Yeah, this was like maybe like four years ago. We were at a party, regular house party, and this girl puts her homegirl like over her shoulders, and they're both drunk. And I already knew something that was going to happen. A little they were sitting on top condo. of a table, a, like a beer pong table. And I already knew this was not going to end good. So I brag on my camera. I'm like this. And I'm just <laughs> recording. They both bust their ass. The table crashes uh, down. We can show that clip. You can show it. I think it went on world. I got it. So I put it on my Instagram thinking like whatever. I just put it on my Instagram. I went to bed. The shit had like 30k views in the morning wow. and then World Star picked it up. No. Yeah. And it was like all of us hit it. We, we, were, yeah. all, we were like, what? Oh, that's but four years it, ago? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's like stupid stuff like that. You don't even like, you're just in the moment. Yeah, that's, that's how it is, bro. Because that's, that's the most natural, organic and people like that stuff. And it's like people just want to see. That's, that's another thing. People want to see authenticity. Oh yeah, people are tired. Or you could call them out because you could tell when shit is staged yeah, too. Yeah. When stuff is staged, you can tell. Oh yeah, yeah all day. Yeah, and even and even when people, like other artists or influencers, are trying too hard to be someone that they're not. Oh yeah, and like they can call it out, they can smell it out from miles away, and it's like people don't want that anymore. You know, yeah. people just want someone that they can connect to. Right. Yeah. They Especially want being in real. LA. Yeah. Because you're in LA, you can you can kind of weed out the you know. Oh, genuine like, people from snakes or like, people that are just pretending so like, and I was too naive at first I was so naive thinking everybody's your friend right it's like oh you're my best friend now yep. yeah. let's go uh, we're in LA together <laughs> life's so good nah bro they used me yeah. like it was yeah. their, like, like it was their yeah. job bro and it's like oh goodness man but That's you up. live and you learn you live and yeah. you learn yeah. I'm so glad that I did at a younger age because now I know how to move forward in a way that's going to be right. beneficial not only for my career but for like my own personal life. Yeah, absolutely. And when I find a shawty. <laughs> <laughs> now, what, um, somebody coming up to you that wants some advice that's starting off, that wants to, you know, might be in the same area that, you know, you're in, 
what would you say what's the best way to start off i know i asked like ozzy last week and he was you know asking about content wise what would you say is the best like the way to go about things they're starting first. with music I mean, where, do they, where do they go for music yeah how to move forward i would say starting for music right every zero s- followers i have zero followers zero and followers. i want to grow my okay zero followers if you want to be known for making music you want to have a following from that you need good music right like, it starts with that right yeah. <laughs> you need good music so then I, I i wish i did this so much earlier write every single day write a hook right. write a verse every single doesn't matter what it is write every single day and um you want you want to be i was ta- literally talking about this the other day with my friend you won't promote something that you're not proud about you're not right. confident in so why why put it out if you're not proud about it so the thing i had to do for a while because i wanted to make music since i was like i didn't tell anybody right but since i was like a freshman in high school and i didn't put out my first song until i was um a sophomore in college wow so uh um, so you held it that long i didn't tell nobody wow yeah. what, what was that just like kind of nerves and because i had an ego oh. and i was like that guy in high school who was like you know, captain the soccer team, prom king. Gotcha. You know, homecoming king. I was, nice. I was like, I like, I thought me putting out music would like ruin my reputation because I had right. such a big ego. Right. I had like this. So you're like, if they don't, if they don't mess with it, like, yeah, yeah, this is really gonna suck. Yeah. Yeah. So like, and then eventually got to college and I realized I'm a freaking idiot for not <laughs> doing what I actually like. <laughs> right. So then I'm like, bro. So I was too caught up in worrying about everybody else's opinion right and i finally realized like what the heck i don't it doesn't matter i mean at least you got over that some people, like, some people don't yeah yeah some people go their whole lives well, and like that their whole life yeah. but then you live with that regret like damn what i should have done yeah. or you're telling stories to other people that did it like oh back in the day when i was doing that you were like yeah. those like bro i don't want to hear your old ass <laughs> <laughs> i don't want to hear what you were gonna do yeah exactly bro. yeah dude it's, it's nah like, we're proud of you man no, keep I it going it. it's good because it's like a lot of my friends right now um like I see them in that stage too. I'm like, oh, they're breaking out, and they're gonna. Just, you just find so much more. Ooh, shout it! You find so much. You find so much more joy as you uh, continue to do something not for the money, do something not because society's telling you, but do something because you find joy in it. You know, and right. that's way more fulfilling than I think anything you could accomplish. But that's what separates like what a like one of the goats is or one of like the legends because like him or like j cole or um or kendrick that separates them because they could like drop an album they drop an album where they you know a single and then you know, they disappear yeah and you don't hear from them for like four years and then they come back out and <laughs> kill it i want to get like that <laughs> yeah man that you could just disappear yeah, do drop something disappear and then Bro. like they don't have to play into the gimmicks of like you know, doing, you know, everything. or like, inst- like, fake, like fake social media stuff yeah. or fake drum up. Fake yeah, because they're barely on there. They just, no, they don't even like it. They don't even, because I think, you know what it was like, there used to be like a certain mystery with, with, with artists that they would like roll out their album and then they would disappear and then you would not hear from them. You won't see them until it comes to their tour. But I think sometimes now with social media, you see their everyday life yeah. and kind of like waters down shit. So yeah, yes, for real. That's like back in the day. It's like, that's why people liked artists so much because they put them on a pedestal because they were mysterious they, right you, they didn't understand the lifestyle you didn't know their life yeah yeah you know so. and it's like they they valued that so much but now it's like it's you can't have that because you see what they're eating for breakfast you yeah see what, yeah <laughs> so. exactly you, you know what time they go to bed right you see you know you see them even taking dumps sometimes <laughs> right. talk live like, yeah exactly like, come on now but no i, I feel you and that's but like, that's why like the whole game has changed so it's like yeah. But J. Cole's still gonna be good. That's how um it was with like Doja Cat. I don't know if you ever seen any of her content, but she posts like the most ridiculous shit <laughs> yeah. where she's just like a little ass yeah. kid, like no makeup, looking ridiculous, but she's just like goofy as fuck. And I'm like she's just being herself. Yeah, I'm like Yeah, Doja's funny. Yeah. I'm yeah. like, she's cool as fuck. Like but she can actually sing though. She, yeah, she's yeah, good. She's, nice. she's a wicked singer. And she just had that thing recently where she was saying like she's gonna stop making music because she had gotten to like this thing overseas oh, yeah, I, seen, I saw that but then she came out and apologized even though i don't from my understanding she didn't have anything to apologize for but it's just crazy like you see her really putting herself well, out now, there now crazy. Anything you say you got to like apologize within 24 hours or else yeah <laughs> people are snowflakes that's why yeah yeah 100 they say they like 
No, stand what you said. You know, stand on what you said. You know, I respect that more they got than just on their ass. Than saying it. You know, like, it like Will slapping Chris. Will slapped Chris, and then the next day he was like, "Oh, I'm sorry. I want to put out an apology." And it's like, no, you. That's what you felt. Well, yeah. I think <laughs> you wanted to slap him. That was hilarious. That was, that was crazy. You saw yeah. that, right? Yeah, everyone, everyone saw that. Yeah. Their, yeah. their grand, their moms, and their yeah. Bro, I was I'm over here, fish <laughs> I'm over here sleeping. I got my mom calling me, my dad, everybody calling me. I'm like, something happened. They're like, did you see Will Smith slap Chris Rock? I'm like, like Dad, when, when did you ever call yeah. me about Will Smith? <laughs> like, right? Yeah. I mean, I think he did feel bad to like Chris Rock because, like we said, like before, it's not. Um, he wasn't slapping Chris Rock. He was slapping the world. So he just that felt bad for up. Chris Rock that That's, like. <laughs> and I think we've all been there. Like it's just built up that you just end up snapping one day and it, you take it on the wrong person. That wasn't the person that he wanted. It was, yeah. But it was just in front of everybody, and that was just. His it moment. made a statement. Yeah. Yeah, he definitely had some issues going on with his personal life that he definitely just it's been going yeah. on way too long and you saw she's sitting there just like smiling laughing like everything's all good i was like nah yeah nah you gotta pack her she up. got him good i nah. saw his son posted on twitter it was like that's how we do it Jaden. no nah. Jaden's my boy he's an icon living oh. <laughs> <laughs> no i do what like I, I like Jaden. He, he said that's how we do it he was <laughs> like put a tweet out he was like that's what we do <laughs> <laughs> we slap we slap motherfuckers yeah out of pocket yeah <laughs> Jaden's mad cool bro he's they're uh, weird but I yeah, think their family's weird. He got, I he, like that they're weird. He got removed from the academy, or he he resigned from the academy too. Oh yeah, because yeah, you know when you win an Oscar, you're in the academy. You know you can you have the rights, but he he ended up leaving. What the heck? That makes no sense. Yeah, he pulled out of it. He said he was embarrassed about what he did and what. Chris looked like he was about to say some shit too. Yeah, yeah Chris yeah, went. He held his tongue. He was. Yeah. He there was a part where he was like, he was you could even show the clip. Show, you could show the clip, but. <laughs> I can. Oh, okay. That was a. Uh, Greatest night in the history of television. He was, uh, when he was like, uh, he's like, I could, I could, and then he just said, he just, yeah, I think no, he, I saw that, bro. I think he, he must have said, like, I could and he's probably shit happy like as could. fuck now because I heard all his shows oh, are selling out. Went up. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Bro, that's what I'm saying. Marketing. Yeah, dude, it's all that's it's all marketing. Sometimes, like, I even think to myself, is this all just like, like Kanye? Right. Kanye is a marketing genius, right? And he doesn't even need to do much. No. He just needs to say a couple words and people are like, right. Kanye's an idiot. Right. He's, an he's a genius. Right, like right. The reason why he's always in somebody's mouth. Like, right. I, like, I want to be like that talked about. Right. So, but he's a genius. I don't care what you think about him. I don't care. He's one of, he the, he's yeah. one of those ones too, though. I put him in that same thing of like, he, he, he doesn't have to. He could do like Cole or Kendrick and drop yeah. something and then just disappear and then come out. But yeah, be like, because his, just, his personal life yeah, is so he, public, he, didn't have an he has to. For a minute. Huh? He didn't have an Instagram for a while. Yeah, yeah he just yeah. started. And that's when all the crazy shit came out. Yeah. <laughs> that's when he does it right before the song comes out or it, album comes that's out. Why, that's why he's a genius because he, like, there's something going to be, because I feel, I know it. It's, it's marking my words, mm-hmm. fellas. Something's going to be huge because of this Pete and um, Kim thing going on. Something's going to be huge coming out in like the next like three to six months. And it's going to be ridiculous. I, I haven't been keeping up with Kanye. I was saying somebody was trying to set up their celebrity boxing. <laughs> oh, so yeah. I, was, I think <laughs> it was Jake, Jake, Jake Paul. Is, yeah. I think he offered him like 40 mil. 30, 30, 30, 30 mil <laughs> for them the to fight thing with or Jake, box. Will and Chris Rock. Jake's really yeah. good at keeping his name in people's mouths too because he yeah. knows yeah. they're not going to do it. But he knows everyone's going to be like, Jake offered him forty mil. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. He's super good at that too. Him, him, and Logan are really good. Oh, when it comes to marketing themselves, definitely. <laughs> Those two are geniuses. Yeah, like, yeah. And that's the thing. Like people don't realize how freaking smart these guys are. And they're, I, they're, I know they're super young, but these kids are geniuses. Right. They're geniuses, and yeah, that's why that's why we're even talking about them right now. It's like the fact that it, 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 they're coming up in conversation yeah. means that they're doing a good job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. So I was like, I want. I'm trying to like because they see even they say even when you're talking a negative about somebody, you're still talking about them. Exactly. So it's still so they still know about them. You, yeah, you still yeah. marketing. What they're doing. Yeah, so it's like, bro, that's why publicity don't don't matter what, positive, good negative. or bad. That's one thing I realized, especially with Jake Paul, because like he could do a bunch of things that piss you off, piss you off. Yeah. And then he said like one thing where it was like, uh, he was coming at Dana White for not paying the fighters enough and I'm like Jake Paul I respect you now you're more, like yeah, yeah, you yeah. say one thing that well, I always agree got a with point. Yeah. Yeah. yeah you say one thing I agree with and I'm like I fuck with you yeah, yeah, yeah. I like it now baby <laughs> <laughs> that's the thing it's like you have to build it up to a point where it's like you can get everybody's attention and then whoosh, you stab at where people's heartstrings are at mm-hmm. and right. then people are going to connect with you or either the absolute opposite and just going to keep continuing growing that same effect with uh, controversy so mm-hmm. yeah they just yeah, gotta connect they, with you one time. Yeah, then they start fucking with you mm. and liking you after if you say something right, like you said. Yeah, because whether, like I said, whether it's good or bad, they're still talking about you. It doesn't matter. That's why sometimes even with like the videos, sometimes we post the videos that aren't favorites, fan favorites, and they end up 
killing us in the comments, but it's then he's always like, no, leave it, no, yeah. leave it. Yeah. You have to. I mean, that's it's still getting Bro, still getting hits. You got so, oh my gosh, like I just got, yeah. I just got pushed on the, um, one of these like bigger Instagram pages. Yeah, um, it's like one of these like um, like rap pages. Right, and it was actually the video of me going to McDonald's, and they're like, oh, this is this is um, fake. This is all planned out. This is skidded. And like, yes, it is. But you're <laughs> you're commenting it, and it's boosting in the algorithm. Thank yeah. you, buddy. Keep commenting. <laughs> We're running up. <laughs> and it just literally, it just boosts me. And uh, so it's it's like that's the same thing. Any engagement, good or bad, right. bring it's, it on my way. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's gonna push it to other people. So exactly. I don't know yeah. if you saw like how I do my videos. I have the pieces, but sometimes mm -hmm. I leave a piece up, and everyone comments. We'll roll the clip. I'm kicking my phone every time I go left, you want to go right. Every time I feel hot, you trying to throw ice. Yeah. <laughs> but every time they're like, you missed one. And I'm like, nah, I don't miss, bro. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you commented that because I freaking left it there on yeah. purpose. <laughs> yeah. No, it keeps Idiot. it going. <laughs> <laughs> He's the one that's actually like opened my eyes to see like there's really a method to this. Truly like a posting and doing it on on tiktok or mm -hmm. tiktok especially because he's more of that yeah. you know but um TikTok just the guru. just the time and and the, it's work yeah. it's the time that goes into it you know a lot of people don't realize how much work goes into social media so you have to like time. learn yeah. like even just the learning aspect i'm yeah. watching so many tutorials i've been yeah. on a fucking treadmill all day just sitting there working <laughs> out and then just watching videos of people like yeah right. it's just nuts learning crazy because there's so much like, shit and it's constantly changing when you yeah, start that's um, right there boom yeah it's, it's always adapting into something new i'm like i'm trying to always figure out how i can beat everybody to that next thing and it's like bro so you have to be on your toes with everything yeah, it'll, it'll come though yeah. when, when you start um when you start doing when you you said uh, you're gonna be doing shows or mm -hmm. touring are you gonna is it gonna be specifically in LA area or are you going to be going around? Yeah, so the, the ones I know for sure, uh, we're going to be doing some shows in New York, Boston, mm -hmm. Connecticut. Uh, I want to do Orlando. We're going to do Orlando. We're going to do Houston. Nice. Salt Lake City and um, a couple other Chicago. What do you mean? What are the dates? Or do you uh, have any dates? I don't, I don't. Not announced yet. Not announced okay, yet. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah, um, we'll come to the CT show. That's going to be a good one. CT show is no. going to be a good one. Um, yeah, or is that going to be in Hartford? New York. Probably Hartford-ish, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but um, we have a couple of venues we're looking at, but nothing is like super uh, set in stone. So it's like I don't want to be saying, "Oh, just this date is this date." And it's, yeah, no, exactly. Yeah. Yep. But, um, or New York that's for cool, sure. Though. Yeah. yeah. We gotta pull up. We gotta. Yeah, we gotta do a gotta vlog. Be, we gotta start doing like little yeah. vlogs because like we haven't built like our character enough like as a team. Yeah. yeah. We gotta start doing some shit. That'd together. be super fun. Oh, yeah. for travel, we already talked <laughs> about that. We're talking about getting tripping? this to a level that we're just traveling, doing this. You like, know, bringing the set. That's super cool. Bringing the set. So smart too, because you could. You or fest festival you stores. Do a festival be yeah, something. yeah. Me, me and a couple of um, my buddy, his name's Nick. Um, he set up a festival too, so that'd be super cool just to be, um, just to travel everywhere and make. And that's the biggest thing too is that you need to be able to make content wherever you are. One hundred percent. Yeah. Because if you're not able to make content wherever you are, you're missing out on opportunity. And um, that's the biggest thing I've learned. If if I can't make music in. Alabama, say right I'm doing in, it wrong. in the trunk of a car. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> right, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And I'm doing it wrong, and then I, I need I needed to be able to be self uh, self sufficient, and that's the biggest thing I've learned with growing um, as an artist and just an individual's self sufficiency. I think that's a word. Yeah, content. Uh, is <laughs> right, 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 right. Content is, is key, important. man. Yeah, and it's like, well, the one person I look to, I like, look at this when I think about that, is Russ. I freaking don't it's the same thing with self made. Dude, yeah. He's a beast. I don't I don't care what anybody says about him. Yeah. I won't change my opinion because he's And they gave him so much hate to another one that they yeah. give him so much hate, but they're just boosting up everything. Bro, they, you're exactly. talking about him. Yeah. They and he threw on a, a fan, right? That girl that he put on the song as a feature. Yeah. Oh she was a fan or yeah, she was just on TikTok. A TikTok. Like one of those things. Crazy. That duet, she, she did a duet. First and of all, he, she bodied it. Yeah, she did. <laughs> she bodied it. And but uh Russ, dude, Russ is a beast and um Dude, I, you learn a lot from him because he not only does he produce his own stuff, he writes his own stuff, he sings it, uh, he masters, he mixes, yep. he does everything. And then he was talking about when he was first starting that he made it, it was, you know, to drop, I think it was either a song every day or like mm -hmm. a song a week. Yep. And he just kept doing it just consistently. Like we were talking about being yeah. consistent. Yep. And that's all it was until it built up, yeah. you know? And that's so important that if, if you're good at anything, yeah. the best thing to be good at is being yeah. consistent. Which is why now, I think now more than ever, a lot of people choose to be independent yeah. instead of or 
you know, you still yeah. want that major. Be- sometimes they still want that major because of that extra push mm-hmm. to be global, bad. right? Yeah. But it's good and bad. Yeah, but I mean, what do you prefer? What do you- so right now, I'm in the middle of um, working on getting distribution. The game signed to a major label, um, just because I just want more exposure. And right. like sometimes you're limited to your own works. So it's like that's why having a team is so important. Having people that actually believe in you. Resources, is so right? Yeah. So it's like it's so important resources too is like me myself i can only have so much resources whether it be um the people i know how much money i make but like if you have a team together that is coming for the same visions come for the same goal it's so much easier to accomplish that but again you can go back to the thing where it's like the managers and that's what i was just, i was just about to say i was going to ask you so do you think that it's the label or do you think it's having do you prefer the label or having a good manager like a strong manager because sometimes I, I sometimes I feel even, like I see artists that blow and they're just it's, be, it's because they have a strong manager yeah I, I, I can't even like like I can't even say what I prefer because I never yeah. had a label right I, I never it was everything right. I've done I've done it independent and right. uh, we're just with my team and right. my team's been amazing and I'm like my team's been so so freaking generous with their time and right. um, but uh, like you can look at like the numbers on my Spotify like Millions and millions of streams, you know. So it's like it, it works, like it works. But like, I want to get a hundred million. A hundred percent. Yeah. The label is good. You just got to make sure like all the contracts and documents yeah. that you sure, sign sure. are legit. Because a lot of artists get screwed over with that's the contracts. The thing, like, that's, yeah, they don't, they don't they, read the they, shit. They see the bag. They see the bag. Like, yep. That's all they think about. Then the they, they just start yeah, signing. But they, really, all it is is a loan. loan. It's like, you have to pay that back, buddy. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Yep. That's why, like, it's so, like, that's why I'm leaning more towards a distribution deal right now. Just right. So I can no, that's ha- smart. have them distribute my music and push it, get that extra push that I need. But I don't want them owning my music because right. I'm... I'm the one. Thing, I want to be the one control. Yeah, because exactly. I was saying yeah, when, you, when you go smart. to the when you go to the bank to take out a loan, they give you the money with the terms. You pay it off and you're done. You go to the label, they give you the advance, give you the loan, and then like they own our, your. We said that career. in our last episode and Money yeah, Talks. Yes. Was like, would you sell your dream? Like, yeah, your dream is to create music. Would you yeah. sell your dream? Oh uh, heck no! Bro. Yeah, no. Nah. I'm already like, if I'm being like, I'm already blessed enough to be at a point where. Like I'm financially okay. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not out in the street. Right, you're so comfortable, like, right? Yeah, yeah. So it's like. Like I, I'm at a point where I can be like, you know what? Like I'm not gonna sell myself for a couple million dollars. Right, right, right. That, that's that's already happened. So it's like right. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put myself like at a deficit for a yeah. temporary couple million dollars. I want to make hundreds of millions of Long dollars. Term. Yeah. So it's like, why sell myself short right now if I can make? They're gonna give me five million when that five million is gonna be nothing to me in the long run. One exactly. thing I saw that was kind of crazy: LeBron James, he had a Reebok deal. They offered him twenty million. He's right out of high school. Right. Imagine you live like in the ghetto. Oh and, yeah. And they offer you twenty million dollars, and you're like, you could take that. He denied it. Then he ended up signing with Nike. Yeah. And yeah. Now the, it's, you see where? Yeah. <laughs> It was that, like a four hundred million dollar that, deal. That goes back to the not compromising, you know, brand. your brand, yeah. just staying on course and being focused. Yeah, that's so important. A lot of people, especially out in LA, yeah, uh, they lose track of what's important. Whether whether they lose track of, you know, their career, personal right. life, their relationship with loved ones, relationship with God, whatever it may be, right. um, they lose track of that because the world likes to put things in your face that are really flashy: right. cars, money, houses, mm-hmm. girls. And, you know, you get distracted by that. And, but as artists, as creatives, it's our job to maintain focus on what is a priority. And if we lose track of that, right. we can easily go down a path that is going to screw us up. Yep. Yeah. So for the viewers listening, like, where can we find your music? You said Spotify. You, Anywhere, you, baby. You're on Apple Music. Apple Music, YouTube, uh, Deezer. Pandora, wherever Daisy, you right. ever okay, even okay. heard of Dazer. <laughs> <laughs> wherever. But yeah, you can find me anywhere. And um, be ready for a lot of new music. Uh, I'm putting out a song with my with Matt Crowder, Sean Kingston, uh, Caleb Mitchell, and a lot of other uh, a lot of other people. That that's the, that 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 release date to be announced. Uh, so Sean Kingston's song is gonna be in June. Dope. Oh, uh, summer. Okay. Yeah, it's nice. it's, okay. it's, it's, it's a summer vibe. It's yeah. a tra- I'll play it for you in a little bit. Dope. Um, but um. Yeah, it's a tropical vibe for sure. Nice, um, hell yeah. It's like kind of throwback Sean kind of vibes. But um, uh, actually, no this will be the first time announcing, but I actually have two songs with Sean Kingston now. Um, I'm dropping oh. one in June and probably another one in August. And um, 
the second one's my favorite. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nice. So it's like, so, um, That's awesome, man. Yeah. This dude's going to kill it. Yeah, you're going to blow yeah, up. Yeah. Thank, you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I'm excited. And I'm just, I'm really fortunate to be um, with the people who I'm with right now. It's like, it's such like a, like a God thing. And like, I just, the circumstances, I couldn't have done it myself. And it's yeah. like, um, like I'm working with my buddy right now. His name's Henry, Henry AZ. He signed to Juicy J. Right. And um, Henry is the GOAT. If you're, right. if you're seeing this dog, you're the <laughs> right. goat. Um, he's been he's been helping me out, hooking me up, and he's just a really stand up dude. And um, he's the one helping me um, get to the next step. And it's like those type of people are like I'm super fortunate for it because they've allowed me to you know get to the next step right. and try to push me to where I need to be. And and that's the, I think that's the next step. If um, you're talking about as an artist, your first step to trying to get momentum. Mm-hmm. Build a team. Yeah. Build a team of people who share the same vision. Because if you're doing this by yourself, you'll, you're limited to what you can do by yourself. Because I've learned from so many of my friends, um, mm. Gianni, Ben Lane, my boy Amen. Like all these, all these, all these dudes have like helped me so much grow my like. My That's own true. That life. I mean, you see people sometimes they have an amazing talent and they're not heard, and you're like, why not? Mm. They're like they're great, but it's. It goes down to the team and the resources. Yeah. Sometimes they're limited. Yeah, so so everything too. You need a team behind you to, yeah. to take it like, to the next step. And like you said, God. Sometimes you, you, you yeah, got to just chalk it up to God. You can't even, sometimes it's, you can't even like, you're like, how did this fall into place? How is this moving? And then yeah. you're like, yeah. okay, I know I'm putting the work behind, but there's a, there's a greater power. There's somebody oh, that's, you know, really. Dude, I couldn't agree with you more, man. It's like, so. I've had to realize that I need to stop trying to control everything and right. just trust his timing absolutely because everything works out the way it needs to yeah exactly, just trust yep. him and it's like he's been he's been providing let me tell you he has been providing <laughs> right, good and it, it's because it's just because if you if you seem to allow god to be present in your life and have faith miracles happen it's like it's, it's crazy but i can talk about i can li- i can literally talk about this for the like hours and hours but right. like but, but it's I've had such a like immense sense of joy knowing that God has been guiding me, protecting me through my circumstances right now. And I've been feeling joy even through hard circumstances. And that's a good thing to f- like feel, to realize that. The highs and the lows, yeah. Exactly. But even in your lows, there's, there's time to embrace the good. And there's things to still be grateful for. And that's the coolest thing I've been able to see throughout my career and just my life that god has still been providing no matter what and it's like wow that's amazing and i took that for granted for a, a very long time right like it was right in front of you yeah it was like literally right. act, <laughs> literally because it, it's something that i with my family it's like i didn't cherish my time with my family i didn't cherish the time with my friends i didn't cherish who i was as an individual um and it was literally right there right in front of me in the mirror right, right in front of me with my family and friends and it's like wow and, and just got opened my opened up my eyes recently and I'm like thank you and that's the thing I've been trying to prioritize in life is that as we continue to have a focus on being grateful mm-hmm. it's so much easier to be happy in your life to be more happy to be content with your circumstances even if they're bad because there's so much to be grateful for and I, I found that recently I'm like why why was I so caught up on my right. like little issue that was so irrelevant in like two days you know so it's like that's that's been a good realization recently. absolutely or sometimes you realize sometimes other people's problems you're like my problems don't even comp- yeah like, compare. yeah like so yeah like, once I'm you like, realize that once insane. you step yeah. take a step back and you're like wow because i catch myself doing that sometimes sometimes Me i'm too. looking i'm like we're having a rough you know you have not every day is a good day sometimes yeah. you're having a messed up day but then you're looking you're like damn i could be in this position yeah. and you know you start taking it in and you're like damn i really got to be grateful like you said you had some back pain bro i yeah. once i fucked my back up i was like damn yeah not being able to walk yeah. and like yeah. feel good Fucking sucks. Yeah, imagine that. Like, imagine like not even having legs. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, real, like right. Right. Act, like, it sounds crazy, God but real forbid, talk. Yeah. Imagine not even having legs. Like, I'm yeah. like, how fortunate am I to like have a functioning body? Right. Like, and be healthy. Yeah. And be, yeah. It's like I take so many things for granted, and I'm, I'm like, maybe I'm like, I need to slow down a little bit. And the one word that's been I've been in this like a season of focusing on this word is perspective. Right. And perspective has allowed me to realize that. I need to step out of my comfort zone and realize that even though I'm not where I want to be, I'm where a lot of other people want to be. So like, I need to be grateful for what I have. 
So yeah, exactly. Like, yep. So I'm like, dang, I gotta, I gotta realize that God has been providing and God will continue to provide even if I feel stagnant right now. Yeah, you just gotta believe absolutely. in everything. Yeah, everything there's, there's, always work out. Absolutely, yeah, hundred percent. And there's like, oh, there's always people that will trade to have your problems. That's just, yeah. That's yeah. just it. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the thing too. It's so, so crazy. It's like America is the, like the worst for depression, and it's we have the most. Yeah. And imagine, like, think about that. It's like, cause society and social media want to tell you, oh, you need more, you need more, you need more. When in actuality, we already could be fulfilled with everything we have. Absolutely. And it's like, and I'm trying to find joy in all those little things. And, you know, as we find joy and just happiness in those little things, everything else is just a bonus and everything else just we're able to feel more and more joy and be content with our lives. And that's the thing that I've been trying to work more on is just, Finding a way to not worry so much about what the world wants you to worry about. Perspective. That's got to be tough, especially <laughs> living out there, living in L.A. It's like yeah, everybody's it's competing. Everything's one-upping everybody <laughs> yeah, else. So yeah, it's I like, it you know what I mean? So you'll yeah. see somebody driving this car, and you're like, okay, I want that. And then it's like it's a constant circle, you know? Yeah. So and that's, that's, you just got to appreciate what you have. Super true. And that's, so, like, that's what goes back to having a good team. You know, it's yeah. like... If you have good people around you, not only who they're driven, who are helping you with your goals, but also uh, allow you to um, connect more with your family, connect more with God, connect more with yourself individually. Right. It allows you to remember what you're actually doing this for. And if you go into uh, a goal, go into something with that purpose and stay firm with that purpose, it allows you to actually be the most fulfilled when you leave this earth, knowing that, you know, I, I went, went in doing this and I came out doing like so. Yeah. I did not care what people thought about me. I went, I created music. I did not care if I was fucking prom king. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what I wanted to do was way more important than yeah. anything else. Yeah. Right. Dude, let me tell you, back back in high school and even like the first few, even now, you know. You still play soccer? Yeah, I actually, I miss soccer so much. I miss Yeah, soccer. soccer's I, one oh of the my best gosh. sports. Dude, soccer is amazing. I played soccer in college. Um, I and you out. went to Eastern? Yep, went to Eastern. Uh, dropped out of college to... I was going to go on a two-year religious mission. Pandemic hit. And where was that mission? Uh, I w- it was on the side of Yeah. But um, and I was like, dang, God, like, what the heck am I supposed to do? And because I, really, I was really caught up. I was like really um, torn up about it because I wanted to go do it. And I just felt really prompted to make sure I pursue my music in a way that I can glorify him and bring others closer to him so uh that's what i've been trying to do with my platform is to uh just bring people to him and build his kingdom and i've i just found so much more joy doing that than anything else i felt in my life and i just find that if i continue to not only use my talents in a way to you know bring others to him but also feel the joy of making music at the same time it that's that's yeah, great, it's amazing yeah that's the greatest feeling in the world and that's like I'm gonna go all Bible on you real quick. Matthew, <laughs> Matthew five, uh, Matthew five sixteen, right? Uh, it says, "Let your light so shine before men, that they may um, see your good works and glorify your Father in heaven." Um, and it's like, just one of the things that it reminds me of is that we all have like special, unique talents, right? Right. And we should use those talents in a way to bring love and bring light and to bring God into this world. And we don't need to be like going down people's throats like in James right 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 right, right, right. <laughs> right. <laughs> like we just need to be love and that's all right. that's all we need to do is continue to share it and be love and that's all we need to do and it's like at the end of the day it's like super super simple and it's like we just need to use our talents that God's blessed us with that we right. enjoy whether it be music whether it be sports whether it be crocheting I don't give a crap right. what you do right but bring love into the world using what God has blessed you with and uh, I promise you your life will get a lot better I think that's uh, a good way to end that out I mean, yeah that was yeah. amazing absolutely um, so for everyone watching you gotta follow this dude Zach Kindle yes. dude's a fucking he's a beast, beast. <laughs> he's, he's a beast you know, I know we said it again but thanks so much for like you know coming down and sit with us thank you man yeah, definitely bro, appreciate thank it you for thank I appreciate you y'all. You know, and, um, taking the time um, and then when, when are you, you heading back to LA next week Next week, okay, nice, nice, nice. And that was a good episode twelve. That was that was perfect. That was amazing, yeah, because like I never met you in person, and yeah. 
Like I said, it worked out better than I could have hoped for. It was spontaneous. It <laughs> yeah. actually ended up better because we weren't ready. We that were was like, we're here. let's just go ahead. We're going to, he'll be here at one o'clock. I was like, what? I was still getting ready. <laughs> yeah, he was even, I was even ready. He was like, so are you good at one o'clock? And I was like, oh, I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, let's, let's do it. <laughs> yeah, that was one of our best podcasts. But it's dope. I'm glad, I'm glad everything worked so, out. Super, super, super grateful. I know that, like, Coming on here is, you know, I was I was meant to be here. I'm I'm glad that it helped me a lot. I'm trying to say, but so thank you. I appreciate y'all for having me. Thank you. Anytime. Thanks for coming, bro.